Welcome to Baywatch. Our team is the elite of the elite. We're the heart and soul of this very beach. Come on, Pete, make my pecs a little bigger. And don't cover up my front bump. You got it, huge dick. Big dick. We're staring into the abyss here. It's up to us to restore the Baywatch brand. Hey, One Direction, you here for the qualifiers? I'm Matt Brody. I don't have to try out. I've got two gold medals. Hey! Matt Brody. Matt Brody, yes! <laughs> we still don't, don't give, give up. up. Training begins at 0600. This is nothing new with saving people. These are refrigerators. This is Baywatch, you pussy. What is it that you think we do here? Prevent people from getting sunburned and occasionally stop them from drowning. Stop it! I can't save you if you're being a dick! This is the guy you think is a good PR opportunity for us. Look, I get it. You're big, Sasquatch. But I'm fast. Whoa. Ah, shit! Didn't touch you. You suck. Drugs, murder, dead body on our beach, and it all started once she took over. Some people are up to no good. We're gonna have to do what they watch as best. The truth is, one of you will probably die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? No. Am I the only one that thinks this is clearly a job for the police? Thank you, Blue-Eyed Demon. You got one job. Make sure swim-happy white people don't drown. Yeah. Why does she always look like she's running in slow-mo? She's the reason I believe in God. Uh. We gotta go undercover. Yeah, I'm undercover. Yeah, a little too undercover. I'm oceanic, mother. Jason Bourne ain't got shit on me. <laughs> Why are we in the morgue? You gotta get some hard evidence. Someone's coming. What do we do now? Now we hide. Weird. I'm laying on a dead old lady. Our drawers are empty. Why'd you pick that drawer? Something just tripped on me. It's just a little dead man's fat. Necrotic liquid fat. And will you stop being a baby? <laughs> That's it. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I asked you to come out in slow motion, you know? And we didn't we do it. We chickened out. <laughs> this whole interview will be in slow motion, Pam Anderson style. Oh, I'm just kidding, guys. No, don't do, don't do that. <laughs> that to will the be audience. boring yeah, to, that would for be everybody. So uncomfortable for everyone. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, talking about the slow motion, you guys have been uh, sitting with this movie now. You filmed it when? Last year. Yeah. So, it's been a year you've been waiting for this to come out, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been the year of Baywatch. Yeah, I, we can't seem to, to get away from it. It just follows us everywhere we go. My, my stomach is out in this photo, and I got to tell you, I, I think I created a new look, which is uh, there's side boob, mm -hmm. and there's under boob, and now there's under belly, mm. which I think is like a really good look. Mm. I personally love it's it. It's a great look. Thank you. Thank you. Hot. I mean, look at this guy. What's uh, going on there? It's too many abs, is what it is. It's too much. I think it's, per, it's, it's maybe past the six pack. It's, it's just. Well, we, talk, we talked about this. The fact that, like, there's actually, you can see it in there too. There's, there's abs on the side of his, of his abs. Right. So you don't normally have, like, a, a muscle right here that sticks out. And I, I, it, it was the first time I touched his abs, it was, I felt that muscle and I was, al I was alarmed. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a photo that came out that said, like, we all wish we were John Bass today because it was a photo of me touching Zach's body. And I remember that day feeling so uncomfortable looking him in the eyes for the rest of the day. Because <laughs> it Wait, truly so, is. So John, yeah, yeah, John actually had, like, a massive crush on Zach. Not like a. It was. Like a, like a, like a man crush, you he, know? He's, he he's almost really, couldn't speak for the first month we were all on set. Don't be weird, Alex. It's not John, true. John, you, you have to admit it. What do you, no, I didn't. Look, the thing is, <laughs> is he's a really nice guy. He'd okay? come up to me on set, he'd be like, oh, God. Zach looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, look at him. I, I can't take my eyes off of him. Whatever, Alex. You were that way on your spot. <laughs> I mean, I would feel the same if I was anywhere near Zach Efron. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and can we talk not only about Zach, but The Rock? I mean, come on. Everyone here loves Dwayne Johnson, right? How could you not? <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> yeah, Dwayne. Now, Alex, you've worked with uh, him before on San Andreas, which I love San Andreas. Have you guys seen that movie? Uh, so what was it like to be reunited with him? And this is your first time working with The Rock. Yes. Is he The Rock or is he just Dwayne? What do you guys call him on set? On set, I call him Dwayne. Mm -hmm. But behind his back, I, def I say The Rock. Um, uh, on set, I call him DJ because that's what, right. that's what Hiram, his producing partner, told me to call him. I go, I went up to Hiram. Hiram's his producing partner and also like just one of his best friends. And I like went up to Hiram and I was like, what do I call Dwayne? And he goes, call him DJ. DJ's like the, that's like the, that's like the in DJ. But yeah, behind his in. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> behind his back, I call him Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I give him his due respect, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. And I think, you know, he's one of, he's the biggest movie star in the world. So I think every, you get to go do a film with, with Dwayne the Rock Johnson and you know that the film is going to be as great as it can possibly be. Um, and that you have somebody who is incredibly hardworking, who is doing everything possible to make the film work. Yeah. So um, it's just, it's, it's great as an actor to go work with somebody like that. Yeah, I agree. The DJ effect. Yeah, the DJ effect. That's a good way of putting it. He's just, yeah. I mean, the man is not only a movie star, but like just the nicest guy you're ever gonna be. Like, he doesn't need to be, and he just is. It's just who he is. It's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, well, let's go back to the beginning uh, with the getting cast in Baywatch and what that felt like for you guys. And were you afraid? Were you intimidated? Nervous to get in shape and put on these amazing swimsuits? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I don't know. I mean, Alex, you know, she was, she's worked with this, I mean, do you want to say how you got involved with it? Well, I auditioned for it and it was wow. something I really wanted. What? I know it's a audition. fascinating, <laughs> it's a fascinating story. I went in and I auditioned. Um, no, but I, it was something I really wanted to do. I, it was the same, a lot of the same team as San Andreas and I worked out, um, really, I actually had to screen test in a bikini so I did do my screen test in a bathing suit. That was probably more intimidating than, because I hadn't been working out. I'd been, you know, sitting around eating ice cream on my couch waiting to get another job <laughs> at the time. So that was more intimidating was the screen test. But then, you know, we worked out for three months straight and I added in weight training and swimming and all this stuff. So by the time I got to set, I was in good shape and I felt confident. Um, I, yeah, I auditioned too. You did. It's yeah, fascinating. I know it's fascinating. The life of an actor, um, but uh, uh, but I don't know if you knew, knew this. I saw you at our first audition. Do you remember this? You told me that. I told like you a that. few weeks ago, and I I did not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you, and I was like, oh, she'll be in this movie. <laughs> you knew. Yeah, I knew. I knew day one, and then I didn't need to do a screen test because I was in New York. And doing you were just a, so good. I was doing a play. And they were like, oh, he's a real actor. Let's give it to him. Right. Uh, but for was, me, yeah. they were like, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see let's her, her in a, a bathing bikini. suit. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Yeah. Whereas, you know, I'm always skeptical of that kind of thing. Because one time, years ago, I had an audition. And they're like, okay, you have to come in in a bathing suit for this commercial audition. So I was like, okay, it's probably like for some, uh, you have to wear a bathing suit in the commercial and I went in, and everyone was in bathing suits, and you go in in a bikini, and you audition. And I booked the job, and the role was just fully clothed. <laughs> no bathing suit in the role at all. But at least for this one, I knew that I was going to be in a bathing suit, so there was a point to it. The life of an actress, what they put you through, man. Yes. Um, so let's talk about the cast. What was the vibe like on set? There was some fun. Who do you want to know about? I want to know about everybody. Okay. Well, we'll tell you right now that everyone's amazing. Mm -hmm. And there was never any issues with anyone. Well, we're the best of friends. We all get about, along I know. No, so it's, well. It is true. Um, me, Alex, and Ilf were probably the three offenders the most. Like, we were definitely messing around on, on set the most. And then yeah. Kelly was sleeping for most of it. She, she naps a lot. No, no, no. Kelly Rohrbach is an amazing napper. Yeah. Like, she will, we will be blasting music. And I have a very loud, high-pitched voice when I get into a story. So I get to be very loud. And I like to really express myself when I'm telling a story. So I'll be doing that in the trailer. And she's getting her hair and makeup done. 
and she's asleep. Asleep while I'm screaming and music is playing. It's it's a remarkable talent. It, I'm I'm very jealous of her. Yeah, me too. I could I you know I struggle with with, with sleep. sleep? <laughs> Bit of an insomniac. And uh, you know, there's a scene where Zach actually does like an American ninja warrior routine. Did he really do that? Was yeah. that him? Yeah, that's that's a hundred percent Zach Efron. And did you give it a try afterwards? No. <laughs> No, I did not. I looked at it and said, that looks hard. I'll be over here. Well, they looked at us and they were like, you aren't allowed to do it. Yeah, they did. Yeah, we can't do that. They're like, you're going. That's a liability. Um, But we did have to do uh, another course. We had to do, we did the easy course. The one that in the movie there, he's like, you know, he goes, oh, you need me to do this easy lifeguard course. And then Dwayne goes, no, you need to do this course. And then, you know, they do the crazy uh the American Ninja Warrior stuff. We did the easy stuff, which was still climbing very hard. over sand dunes. Yeah, climbing over sand dunes, climbing over a wall, and swimming through the ocean. Wow. Yeah, because which is very difficult in and of itself. In this movie, you guys are trying or auditioning, or trying out to be members of Baywatch. Yeah, and you guys actually get the gigs and you become trainees. Yeah. Um, so what was that experience like actually shooting those scenes where you had to swim through the water and climb up? I don't even, was it a net or something? They were hard. Yeah. They were, uh, it was really, I don't think you really, like when you have to swim in the ocean, that is hard. And like you are swallowing a lot of seawater because you're trying to do, I remember coming out and just being like devastatingly tired because I had just, swallowed my weight in seawater because I was just trying my best to get through it. And we did all of that stuff in one day. So it was, we had just run for, you know, three hours straight shooting all the running stuff. Um, And also the water was very cold. And that adds this whole weird thing where you jump in and your body's like in a state of shock. So your body's going, stop right now. This is awful. But you're just, you're, we're making this sound like like this was just so difficult. It was the hardest day of my, of my life. life. <laughs> the cast Shooting was Shooting Baywatch. <laughs> you guys weren't friends. It was cold water. <laughs> Where did you guys shoot the movie? We shot it in Savannah, Georgia. Which presented yeah. a whole new set of issues because the food is really good in the South. Um, so we had, at a certain point, we were just like, Let's go out and have, you know, a good old fashioned and some fried food. Uh, John's like, fine, I'm yeah, in I for mean, it. It's honestly, fine. honestly, they they had to worry about it. The producers were like, John, would you like another cheeseburger? And I'd be like, Yeah, sure. Um, but there's a, I'll give a shout out to the Gray, which is a restaurant in Savannah, Georgia. So good. You've I've been? been there. Oh, it's isn't so it good. the it's the old uh, Bus station. Yeah, it's the old bus station. So cool there, guys. And they turned it into this incredible restaurant, the chicken is one of the best chickens I've ever had. Yeah. I was just there last year. And we were just talking backstage about how if you guys go to the airport, then you can get the Baywatch treatment. So we should all just go back to Savannah and, and eat at the Gray. Oh, my God. Has anyone here walked through the JFK Baywatch world? No? It's insane. If you end up taking a trip and coming back in the next two days, <laughs> you, can, you can experience one of the more insane things I've ever experienced. They play... Um, Music, they watch music. Yeah, the the biggie, 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 can't you see? So they're singing, they're playing that on repeat while you're walking through. And it's just our face, our giant faces giant on the wall. Faces, there's, there's screens Videos. everywhere of like Dwayne just like holding like a, a lifeguard post, and you're, you're, you're walking through this thing, and your mind, my mind is being blown because I'm like, I'm in this. Disney World like version of Baywatch. It, yeah. it was it was insane. And it's quite alarming to get off of a plane and be completely jet lagged or hungover or whatever I was, <laughs> and to walk down this hall and your giant face is staring at you and you feel. I feel like other people are fine with seeing your face giant, like a giant. I version find of it your to face. be like I'm in a parallel universe. I find it to be so odd still. 
Yeah, but I feel like other people are fine with like seeing. I hope so. I feel bad. I feel bad when my face pa- pops up. Yeah, like, people. Like, they you're see like, your oh, face. Alex looks great, and then it like they're cuts like, oh my, my god. <laughs> I was gonna see this movie, but yeah. now. Oh man, the oh, Jew no. ruined it for me. Oh, John. <laughs> what? No, guys, I'm Jewish. I can. I can say it. I can say it. I think everyone will still go see Baywatch. Correct. <laughs> These faces are pretty. Cute. I'll go see it again. Oh, um, thanks, Lee. Let's talk about bringing Baywatch, though, into the modern age. So you guys have a great time making fun of Baywatch, the original show, which was super dramatic, but in this weird way where they're all in bathing suits, saving lives, um, where this Baywatch is a comedy. It's very different. So how did you guys um, feel that the script, um, you know, translated Baywatch into the age we're in now? Hmm. I think he's throwing me that that yeah. one. Okay. Um, I I thought that when I was reading the script, um, there's a scene early on in the movie that involves John Bass here. Oh yeah. And I just it's it's where he gets his erect penis stuck in a beach chair. Uh, um, and I just what I thought was. Wow. I said this is a movie I want to be in, and I'll tell you why. I thought that it was taking the ridiculousness of what Baywatch... The movie had to be ridiculous to work. And I felt that it was pushing the envelope and um, was just laugh out loud, funny and ridiculous. And um, I think that that was the right tone for a film like this. Um, And so that was sort of the scene where I was like, yeah, I'm in. in. (laughs) Gee, thanks, Alex. (laughs) How did you feel about that scene, John? Were you in? You know what? I've 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 talked about this scene a couple times because it is sort of like the introduction to my character, which is a it's it's a it's a you know it's an interesting introduction. And there's only so many scenes in movies where people get their dick stuck in things. You know, there's Ben Stiller in There's Something About Mary when he gets his stuck in a zipper, and then there's uh, Jim in uh, 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 Jason Biggs in American Pie. When he gets his duck, uh, his dog stuck in a dig right, dog. Right. When he when he gets you did his, your research. Yeah, exactly. Good. When he gets his uh, in a in a apple pie. Movies where dicks get stuck into things. Yeah, I did my research. There's a page on Google. Yeah, exactly. I and I'm it. now on that your page. That's right. I'm now on that page. Let's so give I, him a round of applause. Thank guys. you so much, oh, guys. Your Woo. dick thank is on you. Wikipedia. Thank you. But there is sort of like, you know, I'd say the height of that world is definitely Ben Stiller's because it's one of my favorite scenes in any movie ever. Um, uh, He's just so committed. And so I was just trying to channel just the little bit of Stiller that I might have in me in that moment. So I think it's there. I think it's good. But yeah. hilarious. I I remember reading this script and just being like, this is going to be just such a fun movie to be a part of. And we really, uh, we had so much fun on set. We had so much fun. Every scene that I got to shoot with every single one of the cast members, it was like it was like a fun day at the beach. You know, it was like summer camp. And the movie I love about, what I love about the movie is that it's super self-aware. So, you know, you have a lot of comedies where uh, the woman is kind of the butt of the joke or their sexist comments, but the girls in this movie flip it back to the guys. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I think it was very important for all of us, um, the cast and, you know, obviously the, the producers and director. I think we, we wanted to create um, female characters that weren't just sort of dumb and funny because they were dumb. Um, I think that the point was that Baywatch takes itself very seriously. We're all like CIA members, <laughs> operatives, but on the beach. And all the, all the women are very tough and strong. And I think that that made a lot of sense um, in the context of this film. And I think it actually makes it funnier. Um, you know, it's a little cliche to just have the women there as eye candy. Part of the joke is that we're all supernaturally hot, but that's not just what it is. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> no, I and I, I, I'm, I'm the only one who's naked in this movie. I don't know if that's gonna run people to another round of applause. I heard that clap. Um, 
You do it for the craft, John. I do it for the craft. craft. I do it for the craft. But, you know, I I think that, like, we do a really good job of sort of of flipping the script uh, and and making sure that, yeah, the guys get their due. Uh, Because it is, it's 2017. We're we're not going to, like, pretend that, like, Baywatch, the, 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 you know, the essence of Baywatch in its, in, in and of itself is, you know, it's sexy. It's like sexy, it's beachy, and it's fun. And we're not throwing that out. We're, we're, we're saying, look, that is a part of this movie, but we also know how absolutely hilarious and ridiculous that is. Yeah. And so what was it like to film these hilarious, ridiculous scenes? Did you guys crack up a lot of the time? Did you have to do multiple takes? And um, I think there was some laugh. I th- part of it, we're all we're pretty good at not breaking, but I think, you know... Yeah, we're at professionals, okay? Some point, um, <laughs> at some point, you want it, it... Like, the goal was to try to make the other person laugh. So sort of see how far we could push the envelope. And we all really had free reign to improv and to come up with with things and use our own, you know, senses of humor and our own point of view from the character, you know, the, the character. Yeah, and- my favorite between us, be- Alex and I, like, don't have a ton of scenes in the movie together, but the one that we do that I really love is right after uh, I get my member stuck in the chair, I'm, like, retelling the story to Alex, and that was just an improvised moment between the two of us yeah. where I, like, turn to her and I go... I don't know if you heard, but I just got my dick stuck in a chair. Oh, and she, yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. Wait, you didn't hear oh, about that? No, of course. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows. The entire beach knows. Yeah. So that was. Um, What's that? Yeah, we just, just re- watched the scene we could, live in front of you guys. We could act right. out the entire movie. Would you guys like us to just act out yes. the full yes. hour and forty-five? All right. You open least, in on. <laughs> you could at least I'll play show the us. Show us your best Baywatch pose. I want to see yours, John. You want to see my best Baywatch pose? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, all right. Here, hold, hold this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so good. All right, Alex, here. <laughs> I'm cool. No. I got, I got, I'm cool. It's very your character, Ronnie. Uh, yeah. Before I go to the audience, too, I want you guys to give a little bit of background about your own stories in Baywatch. So you play Ronnie. And you play Summer, which I did enjoy the throwback to the actual names from the series. Um, so give everybody a little taste of what happened, your character arcs in Baywatch. Uh, okay, guys. Hi. Um, my name's uh, John Bass, and I play Ronnie in, uh, in Baywatch. And uh, Ronnie is sort of the newest guy member of the crew who uh, thinks that he's going to be saving lives, but kind of realizes that maybe he's just the tech guy. Um, but while dealing with that, he also starts a budding relationship with the one, the only C.J. Parker, mm-hmm. played by Kelly Rohrbach. It is a really fun. Yep. And I play Summer Quinn, and I think I, um, I am tough and strong, and I want to be on Baywatch, and that is my ultimate goal, and I'm not going to let anyone stand in my way, including Zac Efron, mm-hmm. even though he's so cute. I'm not going to let him distract me. Yeah. He's like a he's like Ryan Lochte in this movie. Yeah. At the point. Yeah, and yeah. it's so no, no but, a but Ryan it's not that you fall in love with. But the Olympics actually happened way after we shot the movie, so it's almost like we were psychic. Um, they created this character that ended up sort of matching Ryan Lochte, but it wasn't. I don't think that was exactly the. I mean, I don't. I'm not. I'm not trying to like give Zach too much credit, but he's fucking incredible in this movie. Yeah. He's really good. I, I, I'm like kind of blown away by his acting and his like dedication to the part. Like, you know, you show up on a movie and, and you don't know what someone's going to be like and they turn out to be really cool and also just super dedicated. You know, it, it, it I mean, kind of- that's, that's what the abs were all about. And the whole, the whole thing was he was crafting a character and he wanted, it was the tanning and the hair and the, the working out was all building this character that was so into himself that he would look like that. Yeah. So it was all like, it was all, um, it was all his, cho- his yeah, choice. Yeah. I mean, it was a process. It was like, you know, he's like, it's a process. It's a process. It's, it, it's interesting to like, you know, see someone, see someone whose character is Ryan Lochte. And he's like, 
this is, I just have to look hot as fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's my job. But also uh, slightly douchey. Yeah, exactly. Like, he worked really hard. He was obsessed with spray tanning to make sure that he, w- I mean, we were all obsessed with spray tanning. Yeah. Um, but it, it was very important to him to be ridiculously tan. Like, unnecessarily tan. I'm seeing the crush, guys. You know how we were talking about how John might have a little man crush on Zach? That just proved it, so congratulations. Thank you so much. (laughs) I do want to open it up to the audience, so get your questions ready, guys. Hello. Uh, (laughs) Since you guys seem so funny and lighthearted, I wanted to know who was the biggest prankster on set and what was the biggest prank done, if any? Alex, what do you, who do you think was the biggest prankster on set? I just lied a bunch. <laughs> I just, like, lied to Alex. I tried to, like, get her to believe the most idiotic thing. Yeah, John, John I remember is one a big time prankster. I told, one time I told Alex, uh, I said, what? No, I know what you're going to say. Is this no, the... I, I, I think her, I'm ready for how okay. stupid this one was. I told Alex, you know, the younger you get pregnant, the hotter your baby is. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like... That's not true. I was like, I was like, no, that's true. No, the I younger... think at first I was like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I better, I better, I better hurry. Freeze my eggs. Um, but uh, uh, there was, there was a lot of, you know, who I think was honestly the biggest prankster was probably Dwayne, because he just he has free reign. I remember the day that I had my dick Penis. stuck in a chair. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna live that down. Um, uh, he was, you know, he's like filming the whole thing with his camera. And I'm like, Dwayne, what are you doing? He's like, oh, don't worry, John. I'm just going to put this on Instagram so 85 million people can see it. <laughs> I'm like, awesome, man. That's so cool. Um, can I just also remind you of something that you said the other day? Sure. He, uh, John texted me that he forgot all of his clothing for the press tour in Los Angeles and was like, is that okay? Um, and I was like, no, well, we have to go get you clothes. I was like trying to help him. He just decided to randomly lie about I'm, forgetting all of his clothing. The stupidest lie I can possibly and think I was of like, I wasn't, it usually, wasn't like I'm a prank. It was like, it. well, I'm going to let me help you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I'm, so stupid. I'm one of the stupidest people that I know. And, uh, You're one of the stupidest people I know too. Oh, thanks so much. And being able to like share that with Alex is one of my is one of my favorite joys. Oh, what a Aww. friendship! Aww. What a friendship Aww. you guys Aww. have. All right, who's next? What similarities can we expect from the original Baywatch series in this movie? Definitely the slow mo running. Yep. Um, and I think character wise, we, you know, the characters have the same name and definitely, you know, we have to pay homage to Pamela Anderson's character and Pamela Anderson. Yep. Pam, Pam and, uh, the Hoff show up. So those are like, yeah, we got some cool cameos in there and we just, you know, Baywatch is, is, is such an, uh, a huge part of American culture in the fact that it's like show where I think I said this earlier like you know it's just like really hot bods on a beach and that's like and that's really cool and fun and we have that in spades in this movie I mean that's like 99% of this movie but but we take everything that um seems ridiculous about Baywatch now yeah and we lovingly poke fun at it yeah Um, we're we're poking the bear for sure yeah so I think that's we took everything from Baywatch that you need to make fun of, and, and, we, and we did that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then added some penises. <laughs> <laughs> and an awesome, I have to mention Priyanka Chopra, too, as the kick-ass female villain in this. Yes, yeah. Love really me good. some Priyanka. Quantico fans? Quantico fans, anybody? <laughs> okay, we have time for one more question. This is really for both. I also enjoyed Alex. The uh, first time I saw you was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is obviously very, very different than this. Yes. Uh, which Thank is you. which was the most difficult stunts that both of you did, aside from swimming in the ocean? Would you say? I didn't do. Um, I think I've done, as you mentioned, uh, in Texas Chainsaw and in San Andreas a lot, and at Percy Jack. I've done so. M- many stunts and so much sort of sword fighting and crazy stuff. San Andreas was such a huge 
stunt movie. So there wasn't anything in this movie. I'm like, ah, oh, this was easy for me. <laughs> I'm so experienced. No, there wasn't. I didn't actually have a ton of huge stunts to do. It was mostly just the physical activity was, you know, my stamina as I get older is not what it used to be. So running around for 12 hours and swimming, that was, that was hard for me. Yeah, it's interesting because, you know, we, we talked about the, the course already and Zach having to do that insane, uh, those insane stunts that, like, mine seems so, like, not intense. You got but... your dick stuck in a chair, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a stunt that's that... That's stunt. This interview is 90% I cannot compete dick. with. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, but uh, I will say, but there was, when I was climbing that, uh, this, this wooden... Uh, <laughs> This this wooden wall we have to climb it. We we have a rope and we're going up it. It wasn't it it was difficult and I was scared to do it. But you know and then I did it and I was like oh you know what I can do this and that's awesome. A lot of this movie, especially working with Dwayne, uh, is is you know there's a part of my character that's like he just doesn't give up, and that was also something that I think was uh, a big part of what I learned working with Dwayne is that like. Uh, not to get, you know, uh, whatever, but he he really is someone who will make you feel like you can do anything. Uh, so, you know, I was a little worried that day. There's a couple days where you're a little worried, where you have to, like, take your shirt off or something. And, or, you know, which is a big deal for me, but, um, you know, and doing the course and all that. And every one of those days, if, like, I was feeling a little, like, uncomfortable, I'd always look over at Dwayne, and he'd always be there to, like, give me a word of encouragement and just be like, you know what, you, you're owning this. You own this. And it's like, that was really cool and, and really nice of him. So you're able to do all of it, you know? More reasons to love DJ, guys. Yeah. Um, well, Baywatch hits theaters tomorrow, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I have to say, you guys are a great crew. I hope that we get some, uh, some sequels to Baywatch, because it's really fun. You guys are going to love it. Uh, thank you both for being here so Thanks much. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you, guys. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks.